Um, last on the bus would be Jaime because he broke his foot and he's been hobbling around lately. So uh, he gets left behind a lot. Uh, sorry, Jaime. Let's go maybe, um, let's, let's, let's do a tie. Let's do Mike and Tony. They always like to hang out a little later than everyone else. And uh, they always get, uh, I think it's, it's not so much they're hanging out. I think it's just sometimes they get a little, little, little hammered and they can't find the bus. They can't find the bus, so they're lost. Usually uh, cooling off with a couple of Coronas and maybe uh, a couple shots. Celebrating, of course. Usually I'm out pretty late. Just, I tend to try and keep the party going as long as I can, which is not always good, but. <laughs> the most intelligent member of the band. You know, I don't want to say me because that just doesn't sound intelligent, but sometimes they make fun of me, I think, just because they can't hang with my stuff. Let's get this some. Let's, sit. Let's get something straight. I wake up in the morning and I piss excellence. I'm the best there is. Bottom line. Booyah. <laughs> Tony. Because surprisingly, he doesn't talk a lot, but he can solve a Rubik's Cube in like two minutes. You can fuck it up and he'll, he'll solve it in literally like two minutes. He's a smart guy. Definitely Vic. Uh... I base it off how good he can write a song and that dude can come up with things that I could never think of. And, uh, he's just an amazing songwriter, really intelligent. Vic uh, is the only one that actually made it to college. <laughs> we all you know, didn't even have the chance, so one day. Besides me. <laughs> I want to give that one to Jaime, but because he has all these random talents, he like has, he's really good at yo-yo for some reason. I guess he was, he was sponsored when he was younger, like by Omega and does yo-yo tricks. He's also a really good recording engineer. He's also, I don't know, he's just got a bunch of hidden talents. Oh, he's into magic too. So, very talented. And he does that thing with his hair that takes talent. I have my fingers in a lot of things. Uh, but, most talented, you know what, I'm gonna go with Vic. He, he's, I'm gonna give it to him. Even though I know he probably threw me in the bus somewhere, somewhere along the line. Um, he's, a, he's a very talented musician, and he's a great songwriter, great singer, and he's taught me a lot. And that's something that I'm, but, he wears a lot of hats, and I'm not down for hats. So there. <laughs> I'll go with Mike, because Mike never fucks up. Literally, like, we'll have a hundred shows and, uh, you know, I'll fuck up every single show and Mike will have just perfect, flawless set every time. It's crazy. Tony's, Tony's a definitely a uh, shredder. Got some answer, that would be me. Uh, I have, uh, I have a friend who's a professional dancer who's been teaching me some pretty awesome moves and, uh, I've been, I've been working on them uh, when no one's looking, so. Um, I think we good. Vic's actually been taking lessons, so I think he's kind of cheating. You know what I mean? But he's, uh, yeah, he's got some MJ, MJ moves that he's pulling out now, so it's pretty cool. I want to learn a line dance someday, so I can go to the country bars and uh, get all the girls with the, the jean shorts on, you know? Vic is actually taking lessons to dance. Does that make him the best dancer? He's, he's learning. I mean, give him a couple years. Um, maybe some calf implants. Uh, maybe you know, a couple months at the gym. He, he, can, he can keep up. He'll be all right. <laughs>